Hi Doctor, today we are going to present about the final product video which is about the implementation of audio filtering on STM32 using CNC's TSP FIR filter. Before I continue, let me introduce our members who were Kok Heng and Kuming. I will briefly talk about the big picture on what we done in this project. First of all, the, the waveform audio format has been converted into the text file with 32 bit float number. After that, the data is stored into the SD card and the data communication is done between the SD card adapter and the serial peripheral interface in the MCU board. Those data transmit into the board will be managed by this middleware, which is called as the file allocation table file system, which is widely used in USB or memory card. After that, the data is processed by the CMC's DSP low pass filter, and the status of the process will be updated through the UART, and we can make the observation of the waveform and the changes of the audio when the process data writes back to the SD card and insert into the computer. Uh, that's all from me. I will pass it to Kuming. In this project, we store the input and output of the FIR filter in SD card. Therefore, we need to set the interface between the SD card module and STM32. This is the hardware connection of our project. The SDK pin of the SD card module is connected to PFI, MISO PA6, MOSI PA7, and CS pin to PB6. First, we create a new project using STM32 Cube IDE. In the pin out and configuration, we connect our SD card using SPI1 pin. After enable the SPI1 connection, our SDK pin will auto assign to PFI, MISO PA6, MOSI PA7. In the SPI1 setting, we need to set it to full duplex master so that both master and slave can send data at the same time through the MOSI and MISO line respectively. The clock rescale was changed to 128 to reduce the bow rate of the SD card. Then we will connect our CS pin to PB6 using a GPIO connection and we will label it as SD underscore C. Finally, we are going to use the SD card with a file system provided by middleware. We change the maximum setter size from 512 to 4096 so that it can support any type of memory card. In this project, we use the serial monitor to debug our connection and check our data transfer status. We connect the board to the serial monitor using default UART, UART2. The UART mode is set to asynchronous because UART interface does not use a clock signal to synchronize the transmitter and receiver devices. The bow rate was changed to 9600 bit per second. In the system mode setting, the debug state changed to serial wire mode. RCC setting, we use a crystal ceramic resonator to generate our clock. While for the clock configuration, we set it to maximum frequency 180 MHz. After the project is generated, we need to do some modification to the setting file to link the driver into FFX. We need to import FFX SD card function to our project and include it in the header of user underscore this io.c and main.c. First, in the user underscore this io.c, we need to return all the data to the controller through SPI1 using the function we just added. In the main.c file, we check our SD card connection status using the fmark function and print the status to the serial monitor using the send you function. After that, we enter our main loop and start to read write data to our SD card and monitor through the serial monitor. For the FIR algorithm, I will pass it to Hang for further explanation. In digital signal processing, the FIR filter is a filter whose impulse response is of finite period because of it settles to zero in finite time. The FIR filter algorithm is based on a sequence of multiply accumulate operations as shown in the equation. 
is filter coefficient is multiplied by a state variable which equals a previous input sample the yn is the output of the filter xn is the input sample and the bn is the filter coefficient where it can be obtained from MATLAB. in this equation we can see that the output yn is the summation of all the product of the input sample and the filter coefficient to implement the filter in STM32, the CMC's DSP library is used. The CMC's DSP software library is a suite of common signal processing function for use on Cortex-M and Cortex-A processor-based device. To use the function available in CMC's DSP, the built library and public header file are included in our project. There are two main important functions used to implement FIR in our project, which are ARM FIR to F32 and ARM FIR init F32. In this function, we can see ARM FIR init F32 is an associate initialization function for each data type. The initialization function has two main functions, which is set the value of the internal structure fields and initialize the value in the state buffer. If the initialization function is used, then the instance structure cannot be placed into a constant data section. There are a total of five parameters are needed for this function. First, S is point to an instance of the floating point FIR filter structure. Num taps is the number of filter coefficient in the filter. The coefficient F32 points to the filter coefficient buffer, which are the values of the impulse response generated from MATLAB. The FIR state F32 points to the state buffer and the block size is the number sample process per call. ARM FIR F32 is the processing function for the floating point FIR filter. The functions operate on blocks of input and output data, and each call to the function process a block size sample through the filter. There are four parameters in this function. First, parameter S, which points to an instance of the floating point FIR filter structure. Second, parameter PSRC, which points to the block of input data and third parameter pdst which points to the block of output data and the last parameter block size is the number of samples to be processed the table shows the parameter and variable declaration in our project first the test length samples specifies the total number of samples block size is the number of samples processed by our fir filter in this case the block size used is one because we make use of the data found in the SD card and reading line per line. Num taps is the number of filter coefficient in the filter. In our project, the number of filter coefficient used is 17. It means that a total of 17 impulse response is used for our FIR filter. Test input and test output are the input and output variable respectively. And FIR state F32 is the state buffer and FIR coefficient 32 is filter coefficient or impulse response which can be generated by MATLAB. The figure shows the use of FIR function in our project. All the variables and parameters are first declared, then the FIR function is called in the main function. We pass through all the parameters and variables accordingly for the FIR filter algorithm competition. At last, we do include a demonstration in this video. Eight. Eight. That's all from us. Thank you very much.